Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on the new launch that just came out from One Size, which is Patrick Star's new makeup brand. So I purchased the eyeshadow palette, the liquid liner, and one of the glitter toppers. So if you want to see my thoughts, then let's just get going. <laughs> So I decided I wanted this to be first impression style as opposed to like a full review because I wanted to just try these products out on camera with you. You can kind of get my thoughts as I go, especially because the palette itself has a lot of shades. It is going to take a few uses before I can give my full opinion on the palette. So this is a first impressions. Of course, my opinions could change as I continue to use these items, but wear time is a factor, how the different colors go on my eyes and just all of that stuff. But first impressions, impressions let's just get into it so the only product that I didn't purchase from this new launch is the point made 24 hour gel eyeliner pencil I just bought an eye coal from Wayne Goss's line and I feel like I have so many gel pencils anyways I passed on that but I did get one of everything else so just to kind of run through I did of course pick up the Patrick Star visionary eyeshadow palette which is a 15 pan palette this guy is $42 also in the line came out these eye popper sparkle vision liquid eyeshadows these are $22 now he came out with five shades I only went with one which is everything and more this is the more pinky one it's the one that I thought I would use the most so I picked this one up and then he also came out with a liquid liner this is the point made 24 hour liquid eyeliner pen I'm always curious about liquid liners I feel like I've been on the hunt for the perfect liquid liner for a couple years now so I did get this one it is $19 so more specifically let's take a closer look at the palette here. So this online is described as a highly pigmented 15 pan eyeshadow palette featuring matte and shimmer shades in yummy neutrals and bold pops of color for endless makeup play. So immediately looking at the palette and the design, it is just a pink cardboard packaging with the simple one size logo. Nothing to write home about really, nothing too special. On the back it does say it is made in the USA, we love that, and it has a 12 month shelf life. It is also a vegan. And one thing that I thought was weird is that it's kind of this cut off design so it's actually easier to open the palette because of that kind of crooked edge but honestly I thought they cut the palette wrong like I thought something was wrong with it I had to look up to see if other palettes were like this to realize that was on purpose but to me I thought the machines made a mistake so you have a nice big mirror and then you have all of the shades as you can see there's a couple in there that have uh, his logo and what is it just some fun little prints of him <laughs> kind of embossed in the shadows themselves so in here you are getting nine matte shades and six shimmers pretty simple I think it's a very good ratio between matte to shimmer as much as I love shimmer I do realize that when a palette has more mattes it makes more sense because I use mattes more the color story in here is definitely more of a neutral palette with a couple of pops I really like this color story I know a lot of you on my community tab you told me you were underwhelmed by this palette it was boring I like it this is my kind of palette as far as the color story goes I love Love these green neutrals here the pink neutrals almost transition shades here more golden warm and then a really cool look I feel like this has a great variety as far as neutral lovers go no matter what tone it just plays with a lot of different tones which I like and I'm coming off of reviewing the Wayne Goss the new little six band palette which I did like but it was very very neutral and plain and understated whereas this one we're talking more my language here so coming off of that one this one looks pretty adventurous to me. So I do like the color story. It's not anything new or innovative, but this is his first eyeshadow launch. I mean, you gotta have a neutral palette in your line. I know if I was to come out with a palette in my very first makeup line for my first launch, the palette would be boring and neutral, just colors that I like to wear. So I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And as long as the quality is good, there's always room for a good neutral. So what I'm gonna do is this is weird, but I like to do this eye first so that I can do a better job explaining this eye. So I'm going to quickly go off camera. I'm going to do a look and then we'll repeat it over okay, here. So the look might be a little bit odd right now, but I promise you times a thousand, it will pull together liner, lashes, glitter, all of that. But I did want to play with a couple different color families for this look. So to start us off, we're going to take Manila Sands right here. Love that we have a nice vanilla cream shade. These are a personal favorite of mine to just pop under here to lift the eyebrow kind of smooth the area 
area out in a central shade that I think a lot of people forget about. The texture of these mattes are a bit more powdery, so you're gonna have to tap your brush off. It's a softer formula for sure. So I'm gonna take taupe of my game. Love a cool toned taupe color. I'm just using a Kaleidos S1 brush and we're going to work this into the crease. Honestly, I really am liking his mattes so far. This one is blending very easily, very smooth, and all of his mattes really do. From what I've tried in this one look that I've done, of course I need to try a few more times to really give you that firm. Yes, these mattes are good, but no, so far I'm really liking what I've tried. Next up, we're going to go into a brownie right here, a deeper brown. Obviously, he had 15 opportunities to do it, but as far as an everyday look, this palette pretty much has everything that I need with the exception of a light champagne color that I can use to really highlight my inner corner. I do feel like that shade is missing, but other than that, I feel very comfortable with what this this palette has to offer for sure. As you can see, again, this kind of blended effortlessly for me. I'm pretty impressed with this formula. $42? Not bad at all. I've been using a lot of blacks lately, but blacks tell a lot about a formula. So we're going to take Turban Legend. I'm using my good old Riffa 14 brush and I'm really liking this matte. It's quite black, so use it sparingly, but it doesn't really stick where you put it. Sometimes with blacks, when you put them down, it's pretty hard to blend it out. This one I'm finding pretty easy to soften. So now that I've really deepened that, I'm gonna take the original big crease brush that I used and we're gonna try and diffuse and lighten the smokiness of that. Now I feel like normally I wouldn't do this next step, but I am trying to play with as much color as I I can here. So we're gonna take Blue Mondu, which is this blue color. This is a hard color to do, you guys. And even comparing it to the swatching of the other colors, it's a drier formula for sure. And I'm only putting it on this little part of my eye. So it is difficult to tell, but uh, I did need to build this up and in not a bad way. That just made it easier to work with, a little bit more forgiving for this type of shade. But I do need to test it out like in the crease to see how it works but as far as blending it out on the lower lash line it's sticking it's building it's not losing too much of the vibrancy without having like anything underneath or a white base from what I can tell so far it's doing pretty well for me the only thing is the consistency does feel different to the finger and I can see potentially having problems if you use a lot of this shade. If you're just applying it to a small area of the eye like me, it works good. It shows up. I do like it so far, but I will have to keep you updated on that. So because I have the pink glitter, I did have to use this glittery pink shimmer shade. So this is called Everything. Now here's the thing with this. It is really beautiful, but it is just a bit chunky and I think on a more mature lid this is not going to be flattering. It definitely is going to show every wrinkle, every crease in the eye because it's so chunky and reflective. So it's not necessarily flattering on those of you with more mature skin but it is a beautiful shade so that's up to you. But just traditionally you know what you're taught in makeup school this is not going to be flattering for a more mature lid. And because the reflex in here are a bit chunky I wanted something that was going to kind of smooth it out into that black. So I'm taking some of Walnut Strut. So this is a bit of a smoother formula. I would say everything is definitely the most glittery color in this palette. Title Holder also has a little bit of glitter, but the other shimmers in here are actual true shimmers. No like glitter particles in there. And when I say glitter particles, it's not that chunky it's just extremely reflective so i put that on top just to blend it into the black but i am going to take a brush again and we're going to kind of smooth everything out make it seamless uh, so that just kind of helped as far as the chunkiness was going it's not an extremely bad chunky shadow but it is noticeably thicker on the eye for sure one of the favorite things that i did we're taking some of rebel gray right here now this shade I need to test this all over the eye because right here is a little bit of an inner corner color. Beautiful. But the way that she swatched was not good. It was kind of sheer, kind of flaky. So this... I'm not too sure about yet. But working with this blue color and the pink 
really beautiful, you guys. So that's gonna wrap up the use of this palette. Let's move on to the eye popper here. So like I said, this is $22, there are five shades. You get a green one, a blackish one, this pink one, kind of a tan champagne, and then a peachy one. And of course, I wanted everything and more. So this guy is also made in the US. You get 0.14 fluid ounces, and it has a six month shelf life. I only wanted to get one color because I have so many glitter shadows in my collection that hardly get used and as much as I wanted more I just don't use them enough to justify it. On mine, by the way, this is a one swipe wonder. This long lasting liquid eye shadow features a mix of glitter and pigment for high impact sparkle and shine that's flake free. So the packaging is quite tall. A lot of liquid products aren't like this and you can see the color down here. It's nice, pretty, and rose gold. Now the applicator is kind of a flat doe foot as you can see. I'm just going to apply it right on top of that pink. I love me a good glitter topper. It does pair very nicely with the everything shadow. And I do think you probably should use your finger to spread it out because I think just going like that, it's a little bit thick, which makes it more prone to creasing, which we don't want here. So again, I'm gonna put a few swipes. Yeah, so you see, you can actually probably do a pretty neat glitter cut crease with this. So you don't need to blend it out, but if you're doing a blended look, definitely use your finger to pat it out. Just be aware, it'll be more likely to crease if you don't blend it out and thin out that layer. But on the eyelid, the glitter isn't too crazy, but you can see there are thicker silver sparkles on there. It's really pretty. I don't think it's anything unique from what I can tell thus far. It does have a base color to it. It's not just clear glitter, but I think just the nature of the product itself, like this color, it is going to kind of blend in with your skin tone a little bit more. Oh, but it feels nice. It looks nice. It's not too chunky, but it still gives you some extra glitter. So I like that. I don't think I need any more than one color. If you already have a collection of these eye glitter toppers, you probably could pass on them, but I don't have anything bad to say right now, but I will have to keep you updated on wear time. And we're gonna finish off the look with this eyeliner pen, like I said, $19. He only has this black color here. It's a true matte 24 hour waterproof liquid eyeliner that glides on like a dream to create precise lines that won't fade, flake, bleed, or smudge. Looking at it, I feel like it's not really matte from the swatch I did on my hand, but it is very, very black. So it is a felt tip for those of you who like brushes. I don't mind a brush or a felt tip. I think they're both fine. Ooh, you guys. I really, really like this. So I like how long the felt tip is. It makes it really easy to just glide across your eye. It's very, very black. You get a lot of product at once. And I even covered the glitter on my lid with other liquid liners. Sometimes they can struggle with getting full opacity over glitter shadows. This is like pure black. Obviously wear time is important on this, but I really like it. It does have a little bit of a sheen on it. It's not super flat black matte, but it's nothing that's bothering me and I still think it looks super good. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup because I'm looking a little bit crazy right now and I'll be back to give you my final kind of roundup thoughts so far. Okay, so kind of as I'm applying makeup, I forgot to mention a couple key things. One, I did get some fallout on my eyes, so just prepare for fallout. It did happen and I normally don't get a lot of fallout because I tap off my brush a lot and I'm very light-handed, so I thought that was noteworthy. Also, this liquid liner, it's made in Germany and it has a six-month shelf life. So yeah. All right, you guys. So here is the final look. If you're curious about anything that's on my face, it of course will be linked in the description box. But let's get into these products. So we'll start off with the eyeshadow palette. This one I would say out of everything is probably the one that I'm most uncertain on because there are so many colors that I didn't get a chance to try. And because this is a new formula to me, a new brand to me, I don't want to dive in and tell you whether or not it is for sure good. The colors that I did use, I did enjoy. I didn't have any problems creating a look today. I think when we go over here, I need to test these colors more because they didn't swatch the best and I feel like they could be difficult to work with because it's just the nature of those colors. But as far as everything else on the neutral side, I think it's pretty safe to say this is a nice formula. I don't think it's a groundbreaking formula. I don't think this palette is anything that you need to run out and get, but I do enjoy it. I did get a nice look and this is a palette for me that I really feel comfortable having. And from what I've tried to so far, 
it's a thumbs up. The eye topper, I think it's very nice. Again, I don't think it's anything unique that you need to run out and buy. $22 is quite expensive for what it is. If you're looking for a more affordable liquid glitter option, I would like to point you in the direction of e.l.f. They have some comparable colors. If anything funky happens with wear time with this, if it gets creasy, falls on my face, I will make a note of that down below for you guys. But I liked how it spread it out. I think it's really pretty. I don't think it's anything groundbreaking, but it's very, very nice. I think probably my favorite thing out of this line has to be the liquid liner. This is the one thing that I can confidently say I really like. Again, wear time could destroy that. So I'm going to wear this today. If anything weird happens, I will put it in the description box for you guys. But as far as application, I love the felt tip point. I like how long it is to really glide it across my eye. I love how pigmented it is and how it covered everything on my lash line over the glitter and the layers of shadow and texture and everything. So this is really good. That is all I have for today's video. You know, if they are products that you are interested in, I definitely think they are worth checking out. If they are something that you are kind of on the fence about, you don't know you're saving up your money, I think you can wait on these products, but that is up to you. I didn't have a bad experience with any of these today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. I have a lot more reviews coming. I got a lot of makeup recently, just to re-inspire me for some new videos for my channel. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.